It's a sign of fall kickoff on football fields across the country. And we are so excited this morning, though, we take you inside the push for recognition in a sport that takes up more of the spotlight than any other in the country. You know the sounds. Two Stratton in the end zone. You felt the excitement. It's football season, but not as you may know it. These are the Grand Rapids Tidal Waves, a team pushing the sport forward for women. The conversation about football starts so early for boys, they often don't remember the first time they held the ball. And those who pursue it see doors open at top schools across the country. Um, it's, it's a dream come true. I've always... It's awesome. It's a dream come true. Um, I've dreamed about it since I was a freshman. Being... For women, that invitation to play comes much later, if it happens at all. So I kind of equate it to teaching women conversational Spanish in about three months. That's Stacy Davis, head coach for the Waves, a women's football team who, as the name implies, has been an undeniable force for Division Three of the Women's Football Alliance. The WFA is a professional league with sponsors to help promote the top-tier teams, but for the Tidal Waves... That's where the semi comes in, <laughs> semi-professional. Yeah, um, that is a big thing. Competing at this level costs each player $450 a season. Team members can knock that price down through community service and fundraising, but everything else is on each player. For us, it would be a whole lot easier if we could get a big, a couple of big sponsors. I mean, we know that we'd represent them well because that's what we do already. The waves are on an upward trajectory, growing the team of mostly rookies in 2018 to seasoned veterans hungry for a championship. The league is at a turning point, too. The national championship debuted on ESPN2 this past July. Davis says partnerships with community businesses would make it easier for the women to play, and exposure would make conversations about football just as natural for girls as it is for the boys. They've seen their brothers or their uncles or their dads do this stuff, but they've never found their place, and I feel like this is a huge opportunity to show girls that, hey, you can do this too. For the women of the waves like Peyton Jones, playing in the league is about what and who comes next. And it feels like it's the beginning of something great for women and maybe eventually my grandchildren or my children will have to pay. The waves are already a place of acceptance for athletes of all skill levels and walks of life. Because the common denominator in football is drive and love of the game. I've always wanted to play competitive sports and I've always wanted to play contact sports, but there's historically not been the option for it. What they're looking for is women eager to learn, hungry for competition and open to growing their family because the women of the tidal waves have their sights set on a championship and are prepared to be that unstoppable force for their team and for women's sports. One, two, three. Well, that was the Grand Rapids Tidal Waves. They're hosting their preseason camps for players looking to try out the interest in the sport there. The next camp is actually this weekend, Saturday, August 27th. There will be one and another one before tryouts that are hosted in October. Find out all that information at fox17online.com.